Hello and welcome to another episode of Life in Rural Japan. Today I thought we'd have a look at this debate about EVs and hybrids in Japan. Now Japan's a lot different to other countries. They're really pushing them like America or Australia and that. But in Japan we're not. So I thought we'd have a look at the Tesla and the Prius. They're very similar sized car, except the weight. The weight's heavier on the Tesla and also the more expensive. They're like 2 million yen more expensive than the Prius, which is a lot of money in today's economy, especially in Japan. The economy's really bad. The yen's weak. The dollar's strong. So it's a lot. So the biggest thing I think with Japan especially in the country where I live, is we don't really have the charging stations and that. This is a, one of the charging stations in the place for at the supermarket. They've got two little charge spots. They're hardly ever used because out here, not many people have electric cars. They're quite rare. You know, hybrids are really popular. You know, they're just so easy, the hybrids. You know, you can just pull up at the service station, fill up, and you're gone. You don't have to wait 30 minutes or 40 minutes to charge your car. It's just so convenient. You know, if you've got a charger at home, it's going to take you 12 hours to charge your car at home or more. It's just too long. You know, like some manufacturers in Japan make EVs, like Nissan. They make this one, the little Sakura. It's got a 180k range. But in winter, you're flat out getting 100 Ks out of it. It's just crazy. Here you got the Nissan Leaf. These aren't too bad. You know, they're a pretty popular car. Good sized car. And you've also got the Aria, which is the top of the range one in the Nissan Electrics. Now, these things are going to run you back about 7 million yen. So they're pretty expensive. You know, Teslas, I think they're a good car. In the cities, I think they're pretty popular in Tokyo, Osaka, Nagoya, where you have got a lot of charge stations and different things. I think they're pretty good and they seem good. But one thing I have heard is they go through tires pretty quick and tires are pretty expensive for them. So, you know, like it's extra expense you're paying, you know, that costs you two million yen more to buy it. And then you're paying for tires more regular and they're more expensive. You know, here in Japan, they're not pushing them because like your main manufacturer, Toyota, they're pushing hybrids. You know, so like you've got the Toyota Prius, which is a really popular car. They're selling a lot of them. There's so many of these things on the road. Like even myself, I got a Toyota Aqua. Like in America, they call it a Toyota, a Prius C or something, you know. Now it's spring, the weather's good. I'm getting about 30 kilometers a liter out of it. You know, I'm, I'm getting 900 Ks on a tank and it's taken about 28 liters of fuel. You know, it's fantastic. You know, why would I bother with an electric car? You know, that it's, it's good. So, you know, the hybrids in Japan are really good. Everyone's selling them. Like even Nissan, if the, they've got the three electric cars, all their other cars are hybrids. Nissan Notes and all that, they're all hybrid. You know, Toyota do have electric car, this BZ4, which they made. I think they mainly made it for American market because they have to, because of like the laws over there with Biden and that. Same with Lexus. They had to make this electric one for, the, for America. So, you know, like in America, they're really pushing EVs. Here they're not. You know, I think the Teslas are fine. I think they're just overpriced. And like Tesla keeps dropping the price on them. So, you know, you might have bought one for five or six million yen. In a few months, they might be selling it for a, thousand, a million yen less. So you've, you've just lost money on it. So I don't know. That's my thoughts on electric and hybrids. Let me know in the comments what you think. What would you buy? Would you buy pay 5 million for a Tesla or would you pay 3 million for a Prius? I don't know. Me, I'd go for the Prius. I think it's a better buy. 
So anyway, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this. It's just my thoughts on what's happening with EVs in, in Japan.